One of the challenges this year was Jep was having a baby right during season. So I go and get Lyle K. Sinky. Lyle Sinky, a wayward man. We're waiting on him any time. He, he just, he's extreme in every nature. My name's Lyle Sinky, and I am a videographer for Duck Commander. I don't know how to explain him. He was a uh, manic depressed, paranoid schizophrenic with ADD who was on crystal meth. My stuff would give you a headache watching it. Not all of his Christmas lights were blinking. Arkansas, they've got my highest respect. These boys know how to get it on now. They're good at what they do. You don't need as many decoys when you're hunting in the timber because the ducks are just loafing over the tops of the trees and they're, they're looking for somewhere to sit down and just loaf around. Opening day. And her shot fired. The opening day of the second split here in Arkansas, we have a severe drought. Out in front of me is a rice field that's two miles long. Last year it had water and probably 15,000 ducks on it. Right now it's got a few blackbirds and a coon or two walking around on it. Either you've got what little pool of water there is left and you'll burn them because there are no more water anywhere or there's not many ducks staying around there. Boy, when that sun pokes out, we're going to be in business. Get sun on a decoy, we're going to do some serious damage right here. Probably rightfully so, I have been accused of being the most optimistic duck hunter on the face of the earth. I have complete and utter confidence in this little cypress lake right here. How long have we known you, Lyle? Three years? He was wide open, wired, as they say. Things were just not working out. I was trying to fill a hole that was not working. I don't even know how to say it without just straight up saying it. I strung out on crystal meth for 13 years. To put it mildly, he was not a very trustworthy individual. He was just a sinful man, and we wanted to help him. They never questioned what I was doing, and it was obvious that I was strung out on dope. He finally decided to tell us that he had a problem. August 23rd, I just went into his house, and I laid on the floor. He had his head on his hands on the floor like that. And he said, what's the problem with you? I think he said, you don't look too good. You're laying there on my floor. And I said, well, I said, I'm on dope, man. I said, I got to do something. I said, I knew that, but I wanted you to admit that. Well, I know what I got to do, but I don't want to do that. There goes the crystal meth. I mean, before that, I was dead. Now my life is resurrected. I have hope. My marriage is resurrected, and I have a great family life. And I'm just grateful for being able to testify to that everywhere I go. He went from a drug addict to a brother, and that's a big step with us. He's a brother now. So when these ducks going to hit this lake sometime on up in the morning. I believe that. Do you believe that? I believe it. Yeah. I do too. But I'd be a very optimistic fellow. <laughs> we got these cameramen. All of them are weird. Phil thinks all cameramen are crazy. I don't deserve that, though, you know? I don't. Strange men looking through little lenses. I think I'm the only one that's sane in the whole bunch. I, I still don't understand why everyone says I've done crazy stuff. I just do stuff that I normally do. Right over there. He is a very good cameraman. He was a good cameraman, even on the crystal meth, because one thing for sure, he didn't run out of energy. <laughs> the challenges for me is uh, trying to video ducks in flight, turkey, deer hunting. That's all stuff that you can set up for in a way that ducks coming in from all angles, they're not always going to come in right where you want them. Cut him, cut him, cut him. Get a little sun on the decoy, Red. We got something going here now. We got one, so we're doing all right. He just come flying by too close. That's it. Cut 
é nosso. He won't slick that one, though. Old Sly didn't get that name for nothing. Back me up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got a full load in that circuit. Uh, big bunch coming on top of us. <laughs> That was well worth the trip right there. Hey, man. I enjoyed it, brother. All right, my man. Call me. Have your camera ready. I will. Lay your aim and always be true. I've gone to and fro across planet Earth, and I've run upon a lot of strange individuals. And this trip was no exception. I'm just glad I'm not one of them. So no matter where I go, I love to come back to Louisiana. Louisiana, where your dogs never die. You just go get another one and give them the same name the other one had. That way he's always there.